Okay everyone, so in this video I'm gonna show you my own uh, overclocking settings for my 1660 Super which gives me about 31 MHz per second and a power uh, consumption of uh, 76 watts, alright? So the one I'm gonna focus on today is uh, this card in my rig Mars. And let's go and have a look on the results that we can expect. So this is recorded in the future, so you can see before you watch the video. So let's go and have a look. All right, so as a short preview, we have a 1660 Super. We have the 31.81 MHz per second, 66 Celsius. This is because it's too hot in my office. You should get lower than this. And also a power consumption of 77 watts. And we have a performance efficiency of 413, all right? And also disclaimer, this is just my own settings. You overclock your GPU at your own risk. Okay, so with that said, let's go and overclock your 1660 Super. Okay everyone, so let's uh, have a look first on our uh, initial values. I have this uh, Gigabyte uh, GTX 1660 Super and we have a hash rate of 20.90 MHz per second. The temperature is 76 Celsius. We have a power consumption of 110 watts. A fan speed, 83%. It's on auto fan. And also we have efficiency of 192. I also have created this document so we can compare the values after we have added our overclocking settings. So we have hash rate, temperature, power and power efficiency. So we want to increase the hash rate, we want to lower the temp, we want to lower the power, and we want to increase the power efficiency. So let's do this. Okay, so I will go back to my screen and I will go to my phone when we want to see the result in our miner, all right? Because uh, if I screen record the results, it's gonna be not correct, all right? So if you don't have MSI Afterburner, I'm just gonna show you a quick way how you can get it, all right? Just open up uh, google.com and search for MSI Afterburner. Hit enter. Go to the first one, uh, msi.com, and just go and click on download Afterburner and just install it like you normally would do. All right. After that, you will see this icon, MSI Afterburner. Just click on MSI Afterburner to open the software up. And now you have MSI of the burner on your computer. And if you want to have the same uh, layout as I do, we just click on this settings icon. We go to uh, this one interface, user interface. We go down to user interface skinning properties. Click on the drop down menu and go and choose this one Mystic of the burner skin by Drerex Design. All right, and after that we can adjust the size like this. When you're satisfied, you just go and click on apply, and after that just click on OK. So here we have the MSI Afterburner software. We can see core clock, memory clock, power limit, temp limit, fan speed. We also see uh, our GPU that we are currently changing our overclocking settings on. If you want to change this uh, GPU, just click on the arrow and you will see the list of all your GPUs. If you don't see the GPU uh, right away, uh, you may need to exit the MSI Afterburner and just open it one more time. This should uh, add your uh, GPU to the list and just choose your correct GPU. In our case, we're gonna change overclocking and underclocking settings on our 1660 Super. So, as you can see, they have different names. It doesn't say uh, 1660 Super. So to be sure, just click on one and close it with the arrow and check it right here. So we have the correct uh, GPU. We have GeForce GTX 1660 Super. If I click on the arrow one more time, we see that we have this symbol. If we have two equal symbols, that means if you have more than one uh, 1660 Super, the settings will apply to all of them. 
if I click on this one and we have uh, not equal symbols, that means you will only add uh, the settings to one uh, 1660 super. So if you want to save time, just choose this one with equal symbols. So first we're gonna set the power limit. So at the moment we have 100%. I will go all the way down to 56%. And what we want to look for is if the hash rate decreases. If it decreases, just uh, try to go with 60 or 65%. Okay, so when you have set your power limit, we are just gonna go and click on this check mark to apply these to the mining software. In my case, I'm using T-Rex, but you can use any other software of your choice. So let's click on this check mark to apply the settings. So let's go over to my phone and check the results and see what happens. Okay, so after applying uh, the settings uh, to lower the power limit to 56, we still have the same hash rate as before, 20.90 megahash per second. The difference is we now have a much lower temperature. We have 60 uh, Celsius and the power has gone down to 72 watts, all right? So that's a huge difference. We had a temperature of 76 Celsius and the power was at 110 watts. And we also have increased the power efficiency. So as you can see, we now have 294 in power efficiency. So that's an increase with about 100. So that's awesome as well. So let's go and add the next settings on our uh, GPU. Okay, so I added our settings. So we changed the power limit to 56. And after that, we got the same hash rate, but the temperature uh, get to 64 Celsius instead of 76. We also have the power consumption at uh, 73 watts instead of 110. And we also increased efficiency from 192 to 290, all right? Yeah, so we can see the difference when we change the settings. So let's open up MSI Afterburner one more time. And now we're gonna add another setting. We're gonna go to this one, memory clock. So we're gonna underclock this one. So we're not gonna go plus on this one. We're just gonna ramp it down to minus 502 all right that's it the core clock we're not gonna touch if you not get the desired results you can try to go to minus 200 but in my case it doesn't matter if i go minus 200 or uh, have it at zero that's why i'm gonna leave it at zero but you can try this out yourself if you don't get up to 31 uh, megahertz per second so the memory clock will be minus 502 and after that we are just gonna go and click on check mark and we're gonna see the results okay my friends so these are the final results we have our gtx 1660 super at 31.81 megahertz per second and we started at 20.90 megahertz per second all right and after that, we have the temperature at 63 uh, Celsius. And we started at 66 Celsius. And we have the power consumption at 77 watts. And we started at 110 watts. It has increased a bit because we uh, increased the hash rate but it's only with uh, five watts, all right? And we also increase the power efficiency to 413. So that's a double of what we have before. So before we have 192, and now we have 413. And also be aware of the temperature is a bit higher on my cards because I'm sitting in the office and it's like a sauna in here. So that's why it's getting a little bit hotter than you should 
uh, Git. I'm working on that, but yes, so you know. So I'm just going to go and calculate how much we increased, decreased with these numbers after applying the overclocking and underclocking settings for our 1660 Super. Okay, so these are the final results with the PL56 and memory clock of minus 502. Uh, I have calculated the increases and decreases. We have hash rate. We increased the hash rate with 10.92 megahash per second. All right, so that's awesome. We have decreased the temperature from 76 to 66 Celsius, which gives us 10 degrees uh, lower so in my case i have my rigs in an office with bad ventilations so in my case i should hire the fan speed so to do that you can just open up msi afterburner you uncheck this a and now we can increase uh, a fixed fan speed like so maybe to 80 percent or 70 percent just play around and you will see how hot your GPU will get or how cold your GPU will get. It depends on where you have your rig. All right. After that, we have the power consumption. We lower this with 32 watts. And also we have the efficiency. We increase this with more than 50%. So we increase this with 221. So that's awesome. Okay, so now you know my overclocking settings and how much I increase and decrease with my overclocking and underclocking settings. Okay everyone, so comment below your own results for your 1660 Super so we can check that out. And also, if you like this video, you can subscribe for more of these videos. We're only going to do mining tutorials from now on and we're going to do like overclocking settings and how to mine different cryptocurrencies and things like that. Everything mining, subscribe, have awesome day, take care and bye.